Hey guys, it's Marty, and this week I got invited to a uh, an event sponsored by Windsor & Newton and my local uh, art store, Wet Paint. If you've watched any of my videos, you've heard me talk a lot about Wet Paint. It's the greatest little art store in the entire universe. And it's not just because of the selection of art supplies they have there, which is awesome. It's because of the people. They're so incredibly kind and knowledgeable, uh, top to bottom. Uh, just a great little art store. You can find their link in the... Um, in the description of the video. Anyway, Windsor and Newton got together with Wet Paint and they wanted to invite artists out to try their pigment marker. Now I've done a video on these pigment markers already a couple of months back and I didn't give them a very favorable review. So I wanted to give them a second chance. So I thought about it and I said, yeah, what the heck, I'm gonna to go to this event because it's really a chance to talk to and, and, and share with other, other artists their thoughts about these markers and I wanted to hear from other people and um and help maybe uh that would shape my opinion a little bit or maybe i was doing something wrong or maybe i could take a different approach to them some of the uh, things that i uh, was criticizing early on um, one of them was a production issue the cap when you put the cap on the marker um, it could uh, it could scrape the side of the nib and mess it up well they've since corrected that problem and i got to use one of the new pens and new lids and it, uh, new caps it works just great so uh, Windsor Newton is listening, and I think it's really cool that they have these pop-up events where people can come and just give them feedback. Well, anyway, long story short, I sat down, I used them for about 45 minutes or an hour, and then I got a chance to talk to some of these other artists you see gathered here. And generally speaking, what I heard from them, or the feedback I got, was generally favorable about the marker. And I even learned some new techniques by watching what they were doing. Now, that, the artist sitting right there, his name is Stuart Lockridge. He's a local uh, artist here in the Twin Cities and an extraordinary painter, a watercolorist, and he does etchings, which are just fantastic. Matter of fact, I own uh, about half a dozen or more of Stuart's etchings, and uh, they're some of my favorite pieces of artwork in my collection. But anyway, there was a broad range of artists there. From beginner, there was kids there. Um, there was you know people like Stuart who are quite accomplished. One thing I noticed that they were using that I hadn't used in my review was a uh, colorless blender. I used the white blender when I did my review. The colorless blender seemed to make a lot of difference. When I sat down with it, it just moved paint around or moved the pigment around just a lot easier. Now, keep in mind that these people are all using Windsor & Newton special paper, which is like a UPO or a Duralar. It's got a it's got a very smooth surface to it. So, um, and you can re-wet these, by the way. Um, and once they're down, you can, you know, reactivate them if you if you want to. Um, and I didn't get a lot of bleed through with these either. Here's some of the work uh, that was created using these pigment markers, which I, which is always inspirational, right? To see other people's work and go, wow, I, I didn't think you could do that with uh, with this material, that material, but obviously you can. And uh, Windsor Newt was kind enough to have a few swag bags at this event, which came with a couple of different little markers, and they gave those out to people who attended. There's my friend Christina from Wet Paint. She's absolutely awesome. Again, another great reason to go to Wet Paint. Um, they had a DJ there, which was cool. They served wine, uh, beer, and food. That might have nudged an opinion one way or the other, but generally speaking, people were pretty impressed. Now, here's some of the work. Uh, that people were able to knock out with these markers, um, which I thought, you know, was pretty cool. I mean, if you look at look at the range of color here and uh, technique, um, it's it's pretty. I think it's pretty extraordinary. Now, what sets these markers apart from other markers? And I'm not uh, I'm not uh, Windsor Newton didn't pay me to say anything. They didn't give me any money or. Uh, compensation whatsoever so I'll just say this about them and these are just the facts about these pigment markers a they have a hundred year light fast rating B they're non-toxic and odorless C they perform just pretty much different from anything I've ever used in terms of a marker before especially with the colorless blender and just being able to move uh, the paint around uh, with or the pigment around with my fingers and stuff like that was pretty extraordinary um, again though they uh, they are expensive and um, they're not refillable so you have to consider that when you're when you go to buy these but upon second look 
I really, I'm, I think my opinion has improved on these markers, and I just really enjoyed using them at this event. I want to thank the folks over at Wet Paint who were kind enough to, to invite me and uh, let me share and exchange with other artists. And I want to thank the people at Windsor & Newton for, um, for sponsoring events like this where they go out and actually listen to artists who actually use their products. I think that's a good thing to do as a company, and I commend Windsor & Newton for that. I talked to a couple of their uh, representatives while we were at this event, and uh, they were really, really interested in people's feedback about not just these markers, but other uh, products as well. Well, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe. Guys, leave me a comment or a question. I'd love to hear your experiences with these pigment markers. That's it for today. So long, everybody. This has been Marty for OwingsArt.com. Bye-bye.